good Slab Nation, welcome back to another Slab Duel and today is another Foodtastic Friday. Today we're going to be doing chicken enchilada. So I'm going to show you how to do it step by step, how to cook it, prep, everything. So the ingredients we're going to need are some tortillas. I got some corn tortillas right here. Get the small size if you're just getting regular tortillas. You need the small ones for this. I'm using ground turkey. You can use ground chicken. If you want healthier size or you can just go regular beef, up to you. Um, I can't really find any enchilada sauce at my store that I go to, so I'm using taco sauce. I heard the taco sauce is similar. It's just, enchilada sauce is just a smoother taco sauce. I could be wrong. If you guys know better, let me know down below. I got medium and mild right here. And I got another one just in case I need more. We're gonna use half a red onion and an orange pepper. So yeah, we gotta cook up the ground turkey, but before we do, we can't just throw a frozen piece of ground turkey into the pan. So we're gonna de-thaw it first, and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about five to seven minutes on express defrost setting. And then we're gonna put it in the pan, let it sizzle. So while we're getting the ground turkey to defrost in the microwave, we gotta prep our stuff. So first I'm gonna chop some of the onions and the peppers, I'll show you. And also one other ingredient I forgot to mention, shredded cheese. Make sure you got some shredded cheese or a block of cheese ready to get shredded. So as you guys can see, we put the ground meat in, we're gonna cook it up, then we're gonna add in the chopped peppers and onions as seen. We're gonna add salt, pepper, um, some, what's that word called? Garlic, we're gonna add some garlic, a little bit of cumin, some uh, chili flakes.
rolled up the enchiladas. I'm telling you right now, worst idea was to use corn tortillas. You should just use regular corti tortillas because they would wrap right. I'm now breaking under the pressure, but here, here's what we got. Look at that. Look at that. Not looking too, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fancy. Not looking too tight and presentable, but uh, let's hope the sauce and the cheese and all the taste buds is a saving grace. So that's the final process before we throw it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure you do preheat the, preheat the oven because that's the only way this will work. Saving grace time. Hopefully it works out. I'm praying. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, just took out the enchiladas from the oven right now. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Finished product. Finished product. Boom. What it looks like to me, it looks like a lasagna, personally. But uh, we'll let it cool down for like for about five, maybe 10 minutes. Then we're gonna uh, put it on a plate, taste it for you, put some sour cream to make sure it looks authentically Mexican. And we'll get that taste test in for you guys. So let's get it. All right, we let it cool off, time to dig in. So as you can see, I told you guys it broke off. Basically all of it. Still really hot, see? Don't try this at home unless it's fully cooled down, cool down, what I meant to say. We're gonna take a little taste. Going over here, gonna get some sour cream. Cause if you don't know, sour cream, when you add it to Mexican food, it just makes it more smooth. So you got like a little kick and then, whoa, oh, the flavor actually, the different flavor profile. Mmm. Boom, a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. Let's cut that piece off. Make sure there's cheese in there. Mm, cover with proofs. <laughs> My cat's liking this action. It's good. Oh man, holy. You can really taste the corn tortilla actually. It tastes really Mexican. No disrespect to any of my Mexican fans, but this tastes like a real enchilada. Tastes so good. I'm mm gonna -hmm. have to go for another bite. Mmm. Yummy. It's really good, guys. Oh my. That sour cream really complements it. For like, if you guys want a side dish to add to this, I'd say have some guacamole chips, salsa and chips kind of thing. Or if you want, you can just eat it just like that. Really good. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe down below and let me know what you guys want to see me do next. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.